Welcome back to Critical Care Survival Guide. We're doing a series on COVID-19. We're getting a lot of questions about this and particularly about how to stay safe, how to understand the difference between aerosols and droplets, what that means for healthcare providers in terms of PPE, and how you can better understand how to take care of these patients that come in needing different types of oxygen delivery devices. The basics start with a cough. That's what these patients are coming in with. They're coughing and when we cough or when we sneeze, we emit large droplets. Large droplets, if someone's standing next to you, could land on somebody else, they could inhale it and they could contract the virus. If the large droplets land on a piece of plastic or a doorknob, somebody comes along and touches that doorknob, then touches their face, they could also get the virus. That's the main form of transmission of COVID-19. Another thing we're paying particularly close attention to is aerosols. Aerosols are a bit different than large droplets. Aerosols are more like a mist. You can think of it like a spray bottle or a power washer. We're gonna have fine particles that come up into the air and they hang out and they stay floating in the air for a longer period of time than the large droplets. This means if somebody else comes walking by, they might inhale those fine aerosols and get sick and get the virus, okay? So what do we do about this? Well, for starters, to prevent large droplet spread, we're asking people to wear masks. If you cough or sneeze into a mask, there's less risk of those large droplets landing on somebody else or on a doorknob, you get the drift. For patients that are requiring devices that are gonna emit aerosols, for example, a high flow nasal cannula, CPAP, BiPAP, a ventilator where a nebulizer is going in, all of these things have a risk of emitting aerosols into the room. We want as much as we possibly can those rooms to be negative airflow. We wanna be turning over the air in those rooms to eliminate the aerosols as fast as possible. In addition, we want providers to be wearing PPE that includes an N95 tightly fitting and fit tested mask that blocks aerosol inhalation. In addition, things like eye protection, gowns, gloves. This is what we're recommending for COVID-19. We're worried both about large droplet transmission, which is the main mechanism of transmission in our community, but in hospitals where we're seeing devices used, we're also worried about aerosols, which is why you see a lot of attention given lately to N95s, negative airflow rooms, and the like. Thanks again for turning into Critical Care Survival Guide. Please do subscribe and let us know what else you'd like to learn about.